Tonight we're going to do a Chipino, which I actually just found out because I did some research for my daughter. Um, the Chipino I thought was actually fully Italian. It's actually not. The Chipino actually came from uh, Northern California around the 1800s-ish area, maybe late 1800s, somewhere around in there. And it is a fisherman stew made that came from the Portuguese and the Italians. Based, more than likely it was based on something they had at home, but they would use what they had on hand to make it. A lot of times in a restaurant you'll find that um, you'll have a lot of shellfish in it, like mussels and clams and all that. Tonight we're using shrimp and cod, and we're using a tomato-based uh, broth for it. It's been bolstered with a little bit of stock, just to make sure that I've got enough stock for it all. But I've got a mirepoix, potatoes, some herbs, and the shrimp and the cod that are all going to go into this. We're going to finish it with some crusty bread. We're going to start off, we're adding the mirepoix in. This is uh, carrot, celery, onion, and uh, carrot, celery, onion, and a little garlic. I'm going to let this cook, soften up. You're ready. We want to sweat this. One of the things we're going to do is, of course, add salt. The salt will help bring out the water and help it sweat. We don't really want it to brown. At this time, we're actually going to add in the herbs too. I'm using dry herbs, so the sooner I can get them in, the sooner we can get flavor out of them. Okay. Now we can let this go for a few minutes. So these. Uh, the mirepoix is sweat pretty good, so now I'm going to add in the shrimp. Let that cook. Basically, we're going to build in stages. The uh, potatoes are pre-cooked. Not quite, not quite done, just a little bit of al dente, a little bit Christmas to them. So they're going to end up going in last. I'm not too worried about them. They won't take long with where they're at now. Now, add in the stock. We want this to come to a boil before we actually put the fish in. Then once it's up there, we'll turn down the heat a little bit and let it simmer cooking off the fish. And when the fish are done, or actually before that, we'll throw in the potatoes. But once the fish are done, the whole thing's going to be done. Um, it's really actually a very quick cooking one. Now I am. Okay. Okay, we're not quite at like a rolling boil. We don't want to get quite that high. We are getting to the start of a rolling boil. So now I'm going to add in the potatoes. Mix that up, and then I'm going to check the flavor before I add in the uh, fish, just to see where we are. Just a little salt and a little pepper, and I think we'll be good. Okay, okay now, oh, I need salt. Touch of salt, mix it in, and then we're going to add in the fish. We'll turn down the heat. Turn down the heat and let this simmer for about 15 minutes, give or take. And that should be enough for the uh, fish to come up to done. So, peace. I'm going to cover this. On the heat, and then we'll let it go for a little bit. And we'll set the timer now. Okay, after roughly 10 minutes, and cooking time can be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. This one actually came out at 10. The fish is good. Pull some out like so. Okay, now we'll 
also go in here and get some soup. The reason why we pulled out the fish first, well, we don't want to break it up, but we also want to float it a little bit on the top. So we want that as the main focus of the dish. A little bit of crusty bread. There's your chipino.